não queria fechar os trabalhos da manhã sem antes dar agora a palavra aos, às, enfim, às pessoas que estão na plateia, se quiserem colocar alguma questão a algum dos oradores, naturalmente que eh, eles terão todo o gosto em responder. Alguém que gostaria de colocar alguma questão? Não é necessário ficarem eh, tímidos, não é? Eu, 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 o doutor Vilelmo tem aqui uma questão ele próprio para colocar, portanto, iria passar a palavra ainda ao doutor. Muito obrigada, por favor, Vilelmo. Eu acho que foi uma apresentação apresentação que nós apenas tivemos, com muitos pontos diferentes, e alguns deles eu concordo, alguns não. Mas eu acho que foi um pouco de confusão, que poderia ter sido criada through the apresentação. The presentation. The I, f I see that, you s that there is a, a point that we have created a system in which you want to go for a bill in. Uh, and we have, but we have an exception, a precautionary recapitalization. Uh, and th there seems now a tendency to go more towards the exception instead of the rule. And my point of making those losses as small as possible is exactly, uh, particularly to address this point that it's much less attractive to go for that alternative at the moment that the normal bill-in procedure is less costly. Uh, and, and, and then, uh, like, wh what are those resolution tools that I, I uh, just described uh, doing, and how can you use them in order to increase the value without having to use taxpayers' money? Because I think uh, no one here in the room and, and, uh, w would prefer to pay more tax uh, to, to uh, bill out uh, the bank if, if that's not uh, banks if that's uh, not necessary. And that's a particular because with those resolution tools, you can overcome some of the market failures that lead to those uh, higher discounts that are being granted by uh, the market. Uh, so they are, ask a higher return than that you necessarily need in the case of applying those uh, resolution tools. So I, I, I would like to, 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 to add that to, to the discussion uh, we, we have had. Thank you. Well, I think it's a good point, but uh, my, my opinion is quite simple. It's a good idea to avoid taxpayer money to, to, to resolve banks. Theoretically, it's a good idea, but in practical terms, what we are seeing in, in, in Portugal, for instance, BCP and CGD are obviously quite uncomfortable with, with bad situation, because they are paying to solve the situation of a competitor. So I stress this point. It's a good idea to avoid taxpayer money, but when we, we use the competitors to resolve a bank, and the big bank, as well, it was bad, it's not comfortable for the other players, for the other competitors, to, to help to the recovery of such a bank. So it's the main point I, I emphasized in my, in, in my presentation. I don't know how to solve the problem, but uh, always we have a good idea, but after we have some downsides of the problem. And I, I stress, emphasize the situation. Would you like to reply? Yeah, shortly. I mean, uh, I'm not a big fan of these kind of like uh, banks bailing out other banks uh, either. I think it even adds a systemic risk uh, as well, which we try to uh, avoid. Uh, like you say, like uh, a couple of, uh, a small number of, of big banks is also not the solution because then we have at the end uh, the too big to fill uh, problems uh, uh, even more so than, than in the past. So uh, I see that point. Uh, I also see, why are, for instance, national supervisors, national regulators uh, promoting these kind of uh, solutions? Uh, because they don't like still using this, the scheme that is, is being put in place. Uh, and I, I think that at, at European and Euro level, uh, a lot of uh, should be done in order to make that system a credible alternative. So what I uh, presented is only part of that puzzle uh, but we, we have to, to, to...
better we can make it uh, better. Uh, you can also think about, okay, the, 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 the funds in the single resolution fund that are being built up are maybe not enough. You may maybe a bigger fund that can do more so that you have less uh, losses being uh, covered by, by other creditors. All these kind of uh, solutions should be uh, considered and, and analyzed in order to see what is, is there to make the, the system work because indeed you don't want one country to compete uh, with the other country just because of its own uh, uh, credit uh, status and, and size. Uh, so that at the end we are back to where we were at the beginning of the crisis. Okay, if you, uh, I, you are right, I agree with you, but I want to, to emphasize that Portugal is paying the first movie <laughs> under the BRRD framework, because BESH, we use it to, to resolve BESH, and we were quite innovative <laughs> under the European framework. I emphasized the problems that were raised with this uh, application of uh, quite innovative. In the first one of BRRD uh, framework to the Portuguese situation of BESH. And this is not comfortable because BESH was a big bank and obviously this is not comfortable for the other big banks that, that need to, to pay money to resolve BESH. So, this is not a good situation. Obviously, I agree with you. If you use the whole, fa the whole framework, you use the, all the tools to solve the problem, but we didn't use them. We applied just, and we are the first country to apply it, BRRD framework to, to BESH. Okay? Um. Passo também a palavra ao Sr. Professor Vítor Mendes para também dar aqui um contributo. Muito obrigado. Two quick remarks. Um, in my opinion, this BRRD uh, issue raises one problem, which is the moral hazard problem, because in the end, you, you don't have an incentive to behave well, because you know that uh, if the others behave poorly, then you end up paying for, for them. And secondly, in the end, it's going to be tax, taxpayers' money anyway, because in the second and third and fourth round effects, uh, these money banks are putting in is coming out of banks' profits. And in the end, by taxation, corporate income tax collected by government is going to be lower, meaning that either uh, uh, government expenses go down or you need to raise taxes. So in the end, it's gonna, you, you, won't, you won't be able to solve the tax money problem anyway. Muito obrigada. Thank you very much, Professor Mendes. Uh, I think that uh, Professor Mongeli wishes to also make, to make a question to the, to the panel. Thank you. Um, the, the question is uh, directed to William de Grun. Um, I like your study a lot. Is there a sense that um, in these case studies uh, there is also a change in the management uh, of these banks or part of the banks or so? And um, it, it's a kind of uh, unnoticed uh, but very important um, changes in the incentive structure when uh, the resolution requires also a change in the business model of the banks. Eh? Uh, and, and is there a sense that they ca could be captured maybe in an extension of your study? It's, it's, a, it's a dimension that would require even more time eh? and, and data, but uh, it's, I think it's quite important and does not get enough uh, credit, I think. Yeah, I think so. So, so thank you for your, 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 your question. Uh, so there, there is like in that uh, there is a governance point of view. Eh? How are you organizing the decision making inside the bank? Are you changing that? Uh, I think there are different uh, paths chosen. Some banks have rec uh, received completely new uh, bank uh, managers. Others got like uh, uh, from outside the banking industry. Others just maintained their their, their management. So that's uh, one. But I, I think it's maybe. Uh, the other aspect of, of this that, that would more answer your question is, do we see that the banks are changing their business after they have been uh, built out? Uh, and the question to it is yes. 
uh, in general, if you look throughout all these uh, cases, you see that uh, the banks are being asked within their resolution uh, plans, which uh, list all the, the requirements that they have to fulfill uh, after they receive uh, the bill out uh, in order to uh, uh, not distort the market as, uh, too much. Uh, it's, it comes from, uh, say, uh, uh, digital competition. You see there, in, in general, the question, uh, or one of their assignments is, okay, focus on your core activities. Uh, and, and get rid of, of uh, the other activities and go as quickly as possible again back to uh, a normal state in which you are a, a private bank uh, again. So what are those core activities? Uh, that's for instance the, the primarily lending to your households and SMEs inside your own uh, uh, core countries, mostly the country world, so your headquarters, uh, where the headquarters of the bank uh, is located. So I hope this answers uh, your question. Bom, sendo assim, uh, dava por encerrada esta sessão da manhã. Muito obrigada mais uma vez. Thank you all very much for your presence here. Uh, e uh, para relembrar aos, aos presentes que vão continuar connosco da parte da tarde, que a sessão da tarde tem início às 14h30 e, portanto, voltamos a encontrar-nos nessa altura com o, a sessão relativa à União Bancária. Muito obrigada. Muito obrigada a todos.